Ooh, man, is it cold outside. I needed to go get another blanket last night. Ooh, sleeping by these big windows brings in the cold air. You guys see my cool freaking DVD set? That's cool. So, I need to clean up my farmyard finally. Hopefully this is the last time we'll have to clean up our farmyard. So let's get to it. I didn't plug in my truck last night. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to plug it in. No driving that right now. I'll plug it in and hopefully it'll start in like an hour or so. Get our extension cord run out here. Where's the extension cord? There it is. Alright. Plug this in. There we go. Guess I'll have to walk down. So... Right now, I'll probably start all up, all the equipment, so I can start moving it. Uh, I did plug in our 4960, so it sh this should start. There we go. Start it up. Let that warm up a little bit. So I did end up selling one of my Kenworths. So I sold that trailer and a truck. So I, I'm in the looking for a new Kenworth. So the good thing is we have a little bit more of an area here to park. Man, do we really need to find a better place to put all our equipment at. Need to park the disc. The disc I'll probably leave out just because uh, I don't have room for it. So I think I can park... Put the corn head right on the side here, then park in B spine right beside it. So I will have to move this truck. So I'll start. Uh oh. Come on, old Betsy. There we go. A little cold blooded. So I need to start up B spine too. Well, at least the batteries are plugged up in all these. There we go. Start it up finally. Let this thing warm up. So this is our new 8100. So pretty good old tractor. I do want to make some modifications to it. This didn't come with duels. I want to be able to at least use this as a planting tractor, maybe a tillage tractor. Might be a little bit under power, but I don't know. It, I don't know. I, it may pull that disc. It may not. I might use that. Use the 4960 as tillage and use this as a plant and tractor. Uh, everything looks. I think I can park this into one of my buildings. So I'm gonna start this tractor up. Oh man! First start. That's nice. I do ha like how all the readouts are over there for this tractor. It's kind of nice. And up on the dash there. Good old John Deere tractor. This was. This has a little bit of plastic in it, but not near as much as some of the newer tractors. Pretty good power shift. Good old tractor to have. So I know a lot of you have been asking me how about our 5088. So I called Mike's garage and he did give me determination. So I had to go there and basically give him the okay. It's going to cost us approximately 15k to get it fixed. There was a lot wrong with it. The engine needed overhauled. The transmission needed new gears. It it was pretty run down. That's probably why it was put in the trees. Uh, don't know if it's even worth that, but at least we'll have a uh, 
basically a brand new old tractor to use. So now we got plenty of tractors with the four of them we have now. Alright, so now that this is good, uh, I think I'm going to move the cat too. Come on, old cat. Alright, this thing is awful quiet. So it started up actually. You probably can't hear it. I think I could probably fit a planner over here to the side. Uh, if I move my bobcat, I think I can plant, possibly get the baler up in there. Let's see. So this thing actually started up. It's a gas, so it doesn't have that near the problem that some cold diesels do. Alright, so that's moved over. I would like to get a front hitch on this so I could uh, move some of these equipment around easier. Because it would be a lot easier if I could just get a uh, bucket hitch on this. That would be kind of nice to be able to move equipment around and everything. Alright, first thing is first. Let's see if we can get this backed up. Alright, is it going to fit in there? That is going to be the question. It is awful tight. No. The answer is no. So I think I'll try to get it. Don't know it. Maybe this this baler is excessively tall. It may be too tall for this too. Will it fit under there? Oh, just barely. There we go. So am I gonna make that turn? So I want to put it on this side. So I can hopefully get a planter up in there. Alright, so it looks like that is finally in there. Now the question is, is can I get one of the planters in there? Don't know for sure. I don't know if the sides of this uh, Kinsey are too wide or not. It's going to be a question. So let's... This may not be worth trying. We're going to try it anyways. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, my Great Plains, I have a possibility of getting in there, but I don't think this planter. I think we might have to move our uh, flat top to another area so probably just need to get a trailer to display with my flat top to be honest I think it'd look better that way we'll put it the flat top we'll display it for a little while try to get it sold we will put it on our uh, gravel trailer there we go, we'll just leave this for now. I think it's probably smart to get the combine in there first. Means this thing is running. We will go put this on the side. I wanna put this up front here. I think that looks good right where it's at. It's a little bit weird front on these. Just kinda, I don't know what it is. It's kinda odd to me. I don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of like almost like the bumper is too high up in the front. So it's like one of the African safari vehicles where the bumper. I think that may be it. Kind of looks kind of like this, but this looks like it's made to go over through rivers and up through over mountains. But that's just a silage truck. Wonder if this old thing will start. Wow, starts up not too bad actually, doesn't really sound that great. We're going to put this right here, not really a truck you want to display but we're going to do it anyways. 
Now this thing is warmed up. Raise the head. So I think this head will fit through our gates. Not positive. Oh, this is going to be close. Will it fit? Well, I better go and look to make sure. Woo! Uh, I got a sliver on that side, that's for sure. And I need to go over a foot on this side. I don't think that's going to fit. Uh-oh. We might have to end up buying a corn head. Yep. I'm going to have to end up buying a corn head. Looks like I need to clean this off, too. I'm going to have to pull my uh, pressure washer out over here. Even though it's 30 degrees out this morning, I think it's important I clean this expensive corn head off before I go and leave it parked for the winter. Alright, so we pulled our pressure washer out over there. Oh man, is it cold. So we'll get all this off. We already blew off the combine with air. Now we just gotta wash it off. This is definitely not a fun task. That is one of my goals. I'm gonna have to pick a building that I can get that corn head in on. Or buy a corn head trailer. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the corn head now. Uh, it's tricky. I guess I'm gonna have to leave it right here. It's a tricky business. So I think I'll just put it on wood pallets and leave it right here for now. That's definitely not something I want to do. A cornhead trailer is going to have to be on our budget list, so that's probably one of one of our more important things. Cornheads are not cheap nowadays. Well, I guess this will make it easier fitting B spine and the planter in. Fold up B spine quickly. Looks like we might have to take down the flags. Not sure on that. So you don't break off. Oh, it looks like it's going to be close. B-Spine made it. Gonna have to watch our auger over there on the side. Uh, we have room to go back with the auger. Oh, just barely. So that will be B-Spine's winter vacation spot. Maybe if I park the planter in at an angle by the other Kinsey, by its long lost cousin Kinsey over here maybe it will fit and we can close that door let's see I kind of approached this from the wrong gate should have went through the opposite gate so I could be at the right angle backing this up didn't really think about that too much Ooh, I'm just barely clearing that side over wait till that Last roll hits and then swing it hard. Whew. Barely got it in there. Oh man. Guess I got a little bit to spare. Almost clipped that big tire of the the cousin Kinsey over there, the grain car. That looks I don't like it all messed up like that, but we're gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Let's go over and then try to get our planner in one of the buildings. Looks like I'm going to possibly ask, have to go take this down and ask Buck. It seems like maybe I have a fan bearing going out on this thing. Something, something grinds. Don't know sure what that is. Uh-oh. Does it? Does it? Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, man. Just barely got up there. That fits us in there just nicely. Other than the hard time getting it up that little mound. Uh-oh. Does it? Does it? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Man. Just barely got up there. Looks like... Yeah, I got some paint chipping on this tractor already. That's a little odd. To be honest, this mower can be kind of hard to back up at times. Just because it's so removable. Like that, that hitch, it's so easily turned. There's like no hitch resistant in it. So any little, see just a little bit of twitch one way or another, it really swings it wherever it feels like. All right, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, got that one on the first try. I'm kind of impressed with myself on that. Now we'll go get Batwing over here. All right, so now the question is, how many times will it take us to back up our Batwing? So this one, I think we could put over in the side little cranny of this building. What? I think that was all beginner's luck right there. Kind of surprised I did that on the first try. All that was way too easy for that mower. Uh, now I think I'm gonna... So the, the auger I'm actually gonna leave out. I still have to haul some grain. Grain prices are definitely going up, so I think I'll just put this over here preparing for uh, grain hauling day here coming up soon, hopefully. So if you don't know, we actually have about 15,000 bushels of wheat we need to haul. All right, that's about as close as it gets. Uh, I think I'll just skirt it over there either with the bobcat the rest of the way oh yeah we still have bales in the field so beans that the, our grass never dried into hay and stuff these bales are basically worthless so worthless that I'm just going to give them to uh, Jake's and Austin's ranch. I'm, I think I'm just gonna haul all the bales over there and just give them all to them guys. Just a little payback, goodwill for them. Don't know if they'll use them or not. I'm sure they can use them or find somebody that needs them. So I think we are done with this tractor. So. Maybe I, I will park this one in the shed. This is not really an adequate shed. It basically has a roof, and that's it. So there we go, that's in there. Uh, I think I wanna move the disc inside. All right, so I'm gonna back this up right there in between the buildings good spot for it I think right about there this uh, back a little bit this is probably where I'm gonna push all the snow if I get snow on the lot so I don't want the disc in the way of where I'm gonna push snow all right so we're gonna park this these two brothers together here, here we go shut it off so these are actually uh, one series apart so John Deere went from the 4960 to the 8000 series so I I want to keep the the 4020 nice and available just in case we get any uh, snow so 
I want it easily available. Because right now we don't have a snow plow we can use, but I can use the loader tractor to help scoop the snow or at least pile the snow even if we do get a snow plow. Alright, let's move back this right up there. There we go. So now I should just be able to flip one right there and there we go. So now this is available. I think we could still get the bobcat out pretty easy, but these two are available in case it snows. So every all most of our farm equipment's nice and safe. The rest of it we're going to sell. Really wish I had a something, a header cart right now, but we'll have to go talk to Buck one of these days. I think I'm going to run up with our gator and go get our, see if our dodge will start. Alright, now will it start? Oh man, no resistance whatsoever. Oh, shut that door quickly and go hook up to our trailer. All right, just gonna hook up to our gooseneck here. All right, let's go see if we can pick these bales up. All right, so we got all these bales put on. I'm gonna start strapping them down here, best as we can. We got all the straps on. Woo! That girl has a little bit of squat to it. That's a lot of weight. So good thing we're only going a short distance with this uh, three-quarter ton. Whew. A lot. We're gonna have to be nice and careful going down these uh, bumpy roads here. We're just going over this hill. Oh, I probably took that hill a little bit too quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no! This is the sheriff's department, sir. Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? This is the sheriff's department. Are you okay? Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.